All right, I'm going to play along with the guitar profile this time, uh, and then also with just the just the metronome. So I'm going to play this at 50% speed. So that'll be 60 beats per minute. And here we go from the top. speed. That was 96 speeds per minute. Now let's play it at 100%. That 100% speed. Number two. That'll be 
use Guitar Pro again. Start at 50% speed. So when you're listening to the drums, every new bar crash cymbal is going to hit. This way you get used to hearing the 4-4 four, four time signature along with you counting it and feeling it out like it's a 3-4. So this is going to help for the final thing that we end up doing with this whole polyrhythmic idea. So if you're wondering why is the crash hitting there, it's because it's the start of the new bar. So it might sound kind of odd, but it is done with purpose. We have three bars to start for the count in because that's how many bars we need to get through the entire rhythmic process. So here we go. Put 75%. Here we go. to the metronome 60 1 2 3 4 
one twenty. One, two, one, two, three, four. So with this stuff, I say at least 50% of the time throughout the week, play with everything. So drums on, the bass on, the MIDI guitar on. Uh, eventually, you could turn off the MIDI guitar and just play along with the drums and the bass. And then eventually try it with just the drums. And then try it with just the metronome. So kind of slowly work your way to that. Maybe like the first three days. Well. Yeah, the first three, three days, maybe always practice with everything on. And if things are feeling comfortable, then you can start turning some stuff off. Um, man, what the heck was I about to say? Man, I had something I was going to say about this, and then I totally I was spaced. Maybe it'll come back to me. I hope so. Anyway, uh, the theory stuff. So I was looking at kind of what we had a couple weeks ago versus this. So it looked like it was just, um, let me change this setting here. So yeah, I had the B-Locrian. Um, wait, I got the wrong one up. There it is. That's the latest one. Uh, right, so that be a little green one. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so everything looking good there. Um, so the next thing to do is you play all three of those and pick the one that's easiest for you. So let me know which one of those is easiest for you to play. And same thing down here. Play both of those E Phrygian progressions and let me know which one is the easiest to play. And the rest is good to go. So if you have not made it through those yet, definitely do so. The heck was I going to say? The metronome and playing with the MIDI tracks and all that stuff. Oh! You do not have to play everything at 120. That's what it was. Right, right. Uh, whatever speed you get to is what you get to. I just figure 120 is plenty fast enough for this. So that's why I set it to 120 in Guitar Pro. So this way it's just, you know, decrease the percentage to whatever you need it to be. I figured that was the easiest thing to do. Uh, if you get to 120, great. If not, that's fine. You know, maybe you just get up to 100 or even just 90 because they are a little bit long. So yeah, just get where you need to. Get where you can. Um... Uh, just want you to have better control over the rhythm. There. That's what I wanted to say. Glad I remembered. Any questions, let me know. I will see you again next week.